This is a very difficult question to answer. You know, there are those who believe that there is a close correlation. There are others who believe that there is not that much of a correlation. I personally believe that there is a big correlation between stress and cancer. The reason why I say this is especially in patients whom we follow for a long period of time and then you find that they have a relapse. And when you try to go into the social history a little bit, you find that it is not unusual to, to, to um, find history of some crisis in the family, be it the death of someone or uh, the children are not doing well in school, husband fooling around. So I believe that somehow when, when patients are stressed, their immune system goes down. And as a result, the surveillance system within the body is impaired, thereby allowing cancer cells to uh, present themselves again. So the correlation between relapse cancer and stress I am fairly convinced there's some correlation. But as to stress as a cause of cancer, that's a little bit harder to prove because it's very difficult to say who is more stressed. Is the student who does well in school more stressed or the student who does badly in school? You know, so because of that, it's very difficult for us to measure the stress level of each individual and thereby correlate with the incidence of cancer.